Hey everyone! Welcome to Anaheim Park Taurus. Today we're going to be giving you a tour of our room here at Homewood Suites. We stayed at the Homewood Suites by Hilton Anaheim Convention Center. It is located at 2010 South Harbor Boulevard in Anaheim. It is approximately a one mile walk to the gates of Disneyland from this hotel. We do not consider this walking distance. However, under normal operations of the parks, you can walk directly next door to the Toy Story parking lot for the Disneyland Resort and use the free shuttle. This hotel is rated number one out of 128 hotels in Anaheim on TripAdvisor. We paid for this room out of our own pocket. We were not sponsored. They have four electric vehicle chargers that were free to guests at the time of filming. We booked the Two Queens Studio Suite and we're gonna give you a quick tour. Something that I don't think I've ever seen in a hotel room that our kids were super excited about was there's a ceiling fan in this room. It is nice because the room is so big and there's only one AC unit, so it does kind of cool off the entire room with the ceiling fan. This room has a ton of regular outlets all over the whole room, not one USB charger anywhere. So here in the lamp, there's two outlets. There's an outlet right behind it. And on either side of each bed, there is also two regular outlets. This is a studio suite. It has a sitting area. It comes with a couch that turns into a sofa bed and a chair in this really extra long ottoman, plus a coffee table. Since it is a studio, it doesn't have a wall between the beds and the sitting area, so it's all one big room. The bathroom is right off from the beds and it is nice because the sink is separate from the toilet and the shower. There's quite a bit of counter space, not the most I've ever seen, but I think there's enough to work and lots of great lighting. Across from the sink is a great closet area. All of our stuff's in there, but there's an iron ironing board and extra bedding for the sofa bed. There's also the in-room safe. It's hard to see it, we'll film it better later, but you can fit a 15 inch laptop in there, no issue. Shower here is massive. Our youngest son joked that he was just gonna sleep in the shower because it's so big. Um, I do really enjoy a stand-up shower, so for me that's great, but if you do have little kids, it's something to be aware of. If you're booking here, there isn't a tub, it looks like. Um, there is some great towel storage in here along with some extra hooks to hang up clothing or towels. Um, I always find there's never enough places to hang towels in a hotel room, so any extra storage like that I always like. There is only one light in here, and so I haven't yet used this shower, but I can see that maybe being an issue in the morning, especially um, shaving. You can't really see all that great in there. It looks a little dark. Right when you walk in this room, there's a full kitchen. There's a dishwasher a two cup coffee maker sink, under the sink is a garbage, a two burner stove, a microwave, and in this little area is a full size fridge. Right here there's also a really nice desk area. This table does move so you can move it to other parts of the room if you needed to. And then there's another lamp, tons of outlets. This worked great for our kids doing distance learning right now. When you walk in, there's also a full-length mirror, and the lighting in here is pretty great to be able to do your makeup if you need another area to get ready. Um, if you have a lot of people in this room, this is another great area to get ready in. This room does have a bit of wear and tear. We've noticed a couple of items that are pretty beat up, but this door especially is very much beat up. Um, the big ottoman in the room has a tear in it. The coffee table has chips out of it. The headboard looks like it's taken a beating. As soon as we got in and opened the refrigerator, the handle fell off of the <laughs> refrigerator, which for us is no big deal. I mean, you can still open the fridge, but it's just little things like that. We've noticed that this room has definitely gotten some um, wear and tear over the years. Normally this hotel has a hot breakfast and they have a huge room in the lobby for the breakfast, but because of the pandemic right now, they're doing a grab and go bag. So I have no idea what's in this. I just went and picked this up in the lobby this morning. So check it out. We have a orange juice. A blueberry muffin. Granola bar. And an apple. And they also had um, hot tea and coffee 
available when you picked up the bag. Um, we're just not really coffee people, so I didn't get any. <laughs> there is a large pool area with an arcade, putting green, and basketball court. At night, there were hundreds of crickets in the pool area, so we left and did not go swimming. Overall, we enjoyed our stay at this hotel and will consider staying here in the future. The two queen beds were very comfortable, but our 11-year-old found the pull-out sofa extremely uncomfortable and was glad we were, we were only staying there for one night. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please give us a like and consider subscribing.